Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this video, we are going to be continuing on with our C-Sharp programming tutorial series, and in this particular tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at some of the built-in generic interfaces in C-Sharp. Now, we have four that we're going to take a look at today, but there are many, many more. Um... If you look in the system.collections.generic interface, or rather uh, namespace, not interface, uh, in particular, you will find a bunch of uh, generic classes and interfaces in that, in that namespace that you can take a look at. Right? So if you go into the documentation for that namespace, uh, you'll find a bunch of them. So. Let's get started. If we look at my program CS file, I have a couple uh, generic interfaces listed. The first one we're going to take a look at is the generic version of iComparable. Now, if you recall, iComparable as an interface allows you to compare two instances of an object, and this interface is generally used in uh, the built-in sort method of a list. Uh, so uh, this, uh, this particular interface is just simply generic. So you can have it, you can have it be pretty much any type and uh, work with it that way, right? So that's iComparable, pretty simple. <laughs> Now, the next one we're going to take a look at is the generic version of IEnumerable. Now, IEnumerable does exactly the same thing as the non-generic version, and that is it allows you to loop through your collections with a for each loop. That's what this, that's what that interface uh, enables. Now, iComparable and iEnumerable are two interfaces that we're going to take a look at later on. So, keep those in mind. The next interface we're going to take a look at is the generic version of iCollection. Now, the iCollection uh, generic interface does the exact same thing as the non-generic version of the interface and that is it gives you a bunch of properties and methods uh, that you are required to provide an implementation for um, for for a uh, uh, for a you know a collection a custom collection and that's generally what this interface is used for Again, you will find iCollection, specifically the generic version, being used in uh, code for Entity Framework Core, which is uh, which is a thing for database access, pretty much. Um, if you learn, like if you start going into ASP.NET Core, you will you will inevitably run into uh, EF Core, and you will then in turn run into usage the a usage of i collection all right now the last one we're going to take a look at is i dictionary and this is a generic interface that takes two generic type parameters one for a key and then one for a value because a dictionary is a is basically a key value store um much like a list, except lists only store the only store values. They don't store keys and value pairs, but a dictionary does. And so, if you need to create a collection that has a, a key value store, such as a hash set or something, then um, you know, then I dictionary would be useful. So really, that pretty much does it for this video on some of the built-in interfaces in C Sharp that are generic. I highly recommend that you go to the C Sharp documentation and look up some of these generic interfaces. 
Usually interfaces in .NET uh, are prefixed with I, so that should be, so that should be able to uh, narrow your search a little bit. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.